In answer to the question, no, not yet. Before we really get rolling today, I'm going to speak through my cat, apparently. I thought we should probably compare armors. We found this guy on the last one. Uh, noise increase. Uh, it's definitely noisier, but we're basically playing a light, a light, a light armor the high noise game, so it doesn't even matter. We did also get the SWAT helmet, which I'm going to say no to, maybe. Ah, no, we'll go ahead and switch to it. Why not? What the crap? Here, I'll go ahead and take off everything on this one. Two, three, four, and five. And then we shall modify everything on this one. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll just go ahead and wear that. That looks nice. I like that. I genuinely do. That looks pretty cool. I like that. And we'll go ahead and modify this guy. This was a quest reward, remember? This was a quest reward. So go ahead and do that. And uh, just like that, we have much more armor than we had beforehand. I mean, quite a bit, really. I probably should have done this so that we could compare or wherever. This one? This one. We should have done this so we could compare, but I uh, didn't. So deal with it. Let's go ahead and check all these coffins right here and we will destroy all of them in addition to checking them because you know if we can find some additional resources out of them i'm down with that hey cat don't eat my stuff you don't see me trying to eat your stuff and in fact um if you want lunch in a little while you need to like not be doing what you're doing hi yeah you're you're doing what you shouldn't be doing it's very hard to talk through you, never mind to see through you. In case you haven't recognized that yet. I bet that's her whole plan. I'm willing to bet you that's the whole plan. Like, duh, human, I know. If you can't see through me, then you'll be forced to acknowledge that I'm here and do something about it. Except it doesn't work that way. I'm going to tell you the same thing I just told everyone who was annoyed by whatever I said or did. Deal with it. Hey, sir, you stop doing what you're doing because I'm having to deal with the consequences of your actions. And I don't like that. I would much prefer to tell other people to deal with it than make me also deal with it as well. That seems highly unfair. It's my channel, not yours. I'm the one who gets to say stupid jerky things, not you. Jerk. Yeah, pretty sure all of that worked out right. Okay. Let's go ahead and just start trashing coffins, because, you know, grave robber, and no respect, and, you know, all the good things that everyone thinks about when it comes to searching through coffins, taking stuff out of them, and then needlessly destroying them with a chainsaw, just for the giggles. Uh, it is good stuff, though. Take that, you stupid coffin! Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Let me get a good swing in. Okay. Hooray! We've suffered yet another abrasion. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to apply a little bit of healing healthiness. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, we'll take that nothing and we'll be happy with it because that's how the game goes some days. I'll give you nothing and you'll be happy with it. Okay. It's fine. Whatever. You you do what you gotta do, game. At some point, we are going to have some additional quests to run down. Well, not additional quests. We do have quests to run down. Got all these little ones here. We've got a tier 3 fetch. we got a tier 4 we need to turn in. We've got a tier 5 to do. We've got other tier fours to do so i'd like to maybe run all of those existing ones down before we get to the tier five i know it won't be as exciting as the tier five but i just i kind of want to maybe cross everything off the list before we start on the tier five stuff and i mean honestly if you've played the game you know the tier fives are oh boy they um i don't even know what to say about them they just they are what they are which I know is a meaningless statement, but it's also true. They, they are, they are something. That's what they are. Okay. So a hidden stash, all the good stuff. I think. Are we done? 
Are we done, kitty? I think we might be done up here. I forget if there's anything else around here. I'm inclined to say there is not, that we've hit everything. Just kind of check the back area here to make sure there are no materials or something lying around. I don't believe there are usually. I just, I don't know. I It's been a while. I don't remember things. Clearly, I don't remember things. Like, I forgot to take all my frames right there. Whatever. You know what I did? I dealt with it. I probably whined a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I dealt with it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, gosh, I don't know. It's only... 10 a.m. It's not even 10 a.m. technically. Well, do we have anything nearby? Where are you on the map? You are not even close to where we want to be. Well, that's going to be fun trying to run all these down. They're going to be all over the place. Well, I'm not ready to go back to base, even though I know we probably should. There's a horde coming in, all these other perfectly valid reasons that one should be back at the base and doing reasonable things. I don't think I care to do any of that. In part because I just saw a bunch of materials right there and I thought, oh, let's go check them. There's really no reason to climb this tower. It's not worth it. Other than, uh, you know, I feel like it. So we're going to do it. We're going to climb the tower. Still not there. My bad. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Hmm. Not what I wanted at all. This is one of those things that kind of takes me back to some early days of playing with the compo pack and that sort of thing. I always enjoyed climbing up to anywhere that had a, a really high lookout point. Still do. It's, I don't know, I just, I find it, um... Let me put something away so I don't have as much of my hand in the way. I just like being able to look out on the game world. It's pretty cool. Like, I mean, this this right here, this is a great view. You got this little mountainous, hilly type thing right here. More of them off in the distance. This little thing. Some trees. Weird little land of a thousand lakes right here. I don't know. I just enjoy it. It's just been one of those things I enjoy. So every once in a while you gotta stop and climb the ladder just for the giggles. Because, you know, what's the point of in playing the game if you're not going to enjoy it? It's kind of my view. I mean, I don't know. I guess everyone enjoys different stuff and that's cool. That's one of the things I enjoy. I also enjoy breaking my leg where possible, so I'll go ahead and use that. Okay. Yeah, see, not a big deal. Eight minutes. Meh. Whatever. I mean, 40 minutes. Meh. Whatever. I do sometimes wonder if people think that I break my leg intentionally before starting a horde. I don't know. You can decide on that. I guess it's 10 o'clock. It's close enough that we probably should start thinking about going back north, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll head back to the base and I'll meet you over there. That's fine. Coming back into the base, and uh, it's kind of a different approach. We don't normally come from this direction, but uh, that just ended up being the direction I came from, so here's what it is. Oh, I, uh, I made a mistake there. I thought I had less in the boxes so that I could just kind of do this and it wouldn't be a big deal, but apparently I was carrying more than I thought, so this is going to take a second. My bad. My bad. I mean, I suppose I could just, you know, do the normal thing and cut out parts of this stuff that are really stupid and annoying, but eh, there really wasn't that much, so it's fine. Go ahead and take the whatever we have else in the buggy, and actually, you know what? I am going to park this... Maybe you're right there. I recognize that's not much of a difference, but... I don't know. I just feel better about that. We need to grab some more spikes. So I guess we gotta really start, you know... Preparing for the horde and stuff. Meh, meh, meh. I don't know. Whatever. Kind of like meh about it. Here, let's just go ahead and eat a jar of honey. If I'm quick enough and remember, then this will get down to a 
about 4% and change, and we'll be able to just deal with our infection that way. That's the plan, anyway. I don't see any spikes in here, so we'll go ahead and drop off all the building materials. We got a pretty good chunk of those, which was nice. I'm very pleased to see that. But I think we'll just go ahead and make some more spikes in here. So we'll make some soap hikes. Spikes. We'll make, um... I don't know what we need. We'll just start with 30 of them. And then we'll go click back to here, make 30 of these. And that still saved a few seconds. That's good. I don't know if there's any concrete in here. There's not. I remember at some point we collected a ton of sand, but... I want to go ahead and guess that we have already taken care of that, and um, we made whatever concrete out of it we could. Which, that kind of stinks, but... Ah, you know, it is what it is. We'll put that back. We're going to need some more rocks. Might have to start breaking down the cobblestones. We'll see. Not ready to commit to that just yet. Here, we'll go ahead and eat that guy. That'll give us a little bit of health back. Along with a little food, water, that sort of thing. All that good stuff. I don't care as much about this clothing, so we'll put it away for now, but uh, there's a good chance we'll end up getting rid of it. I think we already put our quality six one in there, so that's gone. Here, put the rest of that stuff in there, and I don't think we have enough room in here for everything. Here, let's take out uh, one, two... Oh, shoot. Let's take all these guys out. All of these. And we're going to put all of them over here, which... I need to remember that they're all in this box now, so can't really burn all of them. But that's the general idea, is this is the burn box. So here, we'll take a couple of these guys out. Oh, we're actually pretty darn close to the point of where we can put multiple metals in here. That'll be good. So here, we'll drop off the forged steel. Wow, that's all we have, huh? All right, we're going to need some more forged iron. We're going to need... Um, We'll say 200 forged irons. That should be sufficient. Hi, cat. That's my face. Hey, that's the microphone. That's my face. She's like, I don't care. I'm just gonna do whatever until you feed me. Okay, that's cool. I have a couple of random mods and things just lying around here. We'll drop, uh, I guess we'll drop that one in there. And then... I guess that one should go in there. And we'll put that, that die in there for the moment. I'm good with that. Those we should scrap down, because I'm sure somewhere we're storing brass feathers. I don't think we'll ever use those again, because if we do make arrows, they're not going to require feathers. Okay, I'm just trying to take a look at everything else we have. Here, I'll put that guy in there. I think this is the seed box. There you go. Put that in there. Call that good. Do we not have a bunch of... Fine, put that in there. Yep, okay, I thought so. I thought so. Alright, so that's pretty good stuff. I feel pretty decent about where we are with everything. Let's go ahead and take our spikes. And let's just start uh, working on things, I guess. Here, I'll take those guys, and then we should probably take those. And we'll just switch that out, because we're going to want to upgrade things. Sorry, I saw a couple of blocks I wanted to, to repair before... There you are. And I'll worry about the one up there in a little while. Okay. Generally speaking, we need a bunch of these. I don't know how many of them. We'll use the door for a little while like normal people. It's probably unnecessary. But, uh, you know. Um... Trying really okay. Now I'm angry. Come on, there you go. I know you can be repaired, and I hope I didn't bring any steel out because I was intentionally trying to avoid upgrading things I shouldn't upgrade. Do it, do it. There you go, and upgrade. And upgrade. And here, let's just upgrade all these first, because these are going to be annoying. Come on. And all these guys are looking pretty good, which is amazing. 
amazing. Uh, we do need one more right here. So I think that might be the only one we needed to protect the obelisk, which I am so selfishly and rudely standing upon, but the obelisk, thankfully, is uh, fairly forgiving of its protectors, so, you know, not much to worry about right there. Here, we'll go ahead and upgrade these guys. I guess we're going to need a bunch more of these spikes. I thought there were more of them already in place still, so that it wouldn't be as big a deal, but uh, apparently not as many as I thought. Well, actually, maybe it will work out, because there are a bunch back here. Okay. Maybe it's just the one side there are a bunch and everything else there's nothing around. So we need tons and tons of these things. Come on. I say I'm pretty sure we haven't run out of metal yet, but maybe we did. It's hilarious how long these things last, which is to say they don't last very long at all. How much metal do we have left? 23 metals. Wow, not many. So we're going to need to place one more still. I'm not going to put that down yet because obviously we still need a way to get in and out easily enough. So I guess I should grab some cobblestones and wood and all that stuff. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade some of these blocks. We haven't really done this yet. I mean, we kind of sort of started on it. So let's just go ahead and run around and do the next layer. And yes, depending on how much concrete this takes we might do the the final layer as well and then i might want to upgrade the blocks around the base i'm not sure the thought i have here and uh, it's been pointed out in the comments that this place probably wouldn't survive demolishers i think it can i think it can but it would require a little bit of nimbleness and a little a little bit of care. My usual just throw caution to the wind style really wouldn't work out well with demolishers. But I think with some slight modifications, it could be okay. I really do. I like how the wood blocks are not upgraded the same, so there's a little bit of a pattern. Looks nice, I think. But I think part of what would be necessary to survive demolishers is doing that. And then the next step is probably... Oh, we need cobblestones. Is probably going to require... Some steel would be my guess. Really need to replace that block with a, a wedge. Because that's just kind of in the way and annoying. So we'll go ahead and upgrade all of these guys. I don't really think there's much reason to do this, honestly. These, I think, are fine. I know, famous last words and all that. All it's going to take is one or two of the police officers to explode or a demolisher, and away goes all of this stuff. I know. I know. But hey, fortune favors the bold or something. I don't know. The zombie apocalypse favors the stupid? Something along those lines. I'm not really sure. Okay, just keep upgrading some of the stuff here. And then we're pretty much going to be done. I don't really have much inclination to spend a bunch of time putting out all sorts of stuff like electrical defenses and things. I mean, I guess we can because we do have the generator over there, but I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily feel like we need to. We've got four electric fence posts. That's insufficient, really. I mean, we could probably get away with putting one at each corner, but they don't stretch very far, so I mean, I guess we could make a few of them. What are you doing? That's my drive that I record to. Cat is hungry, so she's trying to destroy everything in a very transparent attempt to, uh, get me to feed her. So, now that she has run away because I chastised her, we can continue on. Oh, goodness. Cat. Cat. 
Okay, let's replace this block, because that one is just bothering me. I need to be able to walk by and, you know, be able to walk by right here, basically. There, that's much better. And I guess we could even just uh, nail these down at this point. We did one long ago accidentally, so here, I'll just nail down all of them. Who cares? It's fine. They don't really matter anyway. You are, you are infected. Thanks. There. We should just catch the infection and it'll be fine. Oh, by the way, so we still have this deep laceration. Why don't we take care of that really quickly here? Um, where would you be if you were a sewing kit? I honestly have no clue where those are right now. Right there. Okay, so the deep laceration is good. The... Oh yeah, that's excellent right there. Keep pumping out the stuff. Yeah, let's resort this right quick. And we'll do these guys, because these are definitely meant to be smelted. There's no question of that. No question at all. I want that one. That'll be fine. Okay, so let's take quick stock of things here. We might need some more explosives. We do have a bunch of pipe bombs, but I think it might be a good idea to have a few more Molotovs as well. We do have some rocket frags. I wouldn't mind a few more of those, honestly. We do have a bunch of landmines. I forgot all about these. Here, let's go put these outside somewhere. I don't know where to put them, but... I'll go place these somewhere. I'm just gonna leave the door open for now. It's fine. It's not like there's anyone around. So here, we'll put this guy... Um, maybe we'll put one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. I suspect a bunch of these are not going to get hit. Zombies seem, for whatever reason, to like to come from the east. So we'll give them a couple of options on the east for the big er explosions. I'm going to move the bike. Doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. But I'm just going to relocate it here. Uh, maybe we'll leave it... Right here on the street is fine. Just kind of park on the curb a little bit. A non-existent curb. That looks good. And then we have four more of the candy tin mines, and these are these are weak. Just put these guys. I'm hoping that they're not too close to those to explode, because it's too late to pick them up and move them. Okay, I'm good with that. Some of the concrete here is starting to set. We do have enough to probably go through and reinforce the foundation once it fully sets, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'd rather just kind of look at our our alignment of weapons. Just in case you try to set off something, don't. Oh, we've got a wandering horde coming through here. Let's take care of this. Nice jump. Okay. Okay. It's my sniper machine gun. Except when I'm actually running. That's that's kind of a problem. Okay. Good. Let's go back inside. I want to see where we are with weapons and stuff. It is something of an interesting conversation to have, I think. And I do kind of wonder, I think we still have a gun in here? Where are you? Where are all the guns? Is it this one? This one. Where are you? Well, I think I sold it. I shouldn't have sold it. I thought we had another one of these guys. I was just having the thought that maybe it would be a good idea to have that one set up and ready to go just in case. Kind of like a backup gun. But apparently I got rid of it, so... Oh well. Not a big deal. So here, let's take out that one, that one, that one. That one and that one. We'll just use the pistol as a backup, I think, is what we'll do. Could always use the AK as a backup, too. I'm going to take the mods off of this gun. Because those are good mods right there. In fact, I would rather have... 
pretty much... all of them on... on that gun right there. Dang, that doesn't work out very well for me. Well, we do have an extra rad remover. What else do we have for guns? We don't have any triggers. Maybe I should have bought the trigger mod. That would have been smarter, I think. Here, what can we put on this guy? I think that works for me. And then... We can't really add anything else on this one. I mean, we can put the silencer. I no, can't put that on. I was going to say, I didn't think so, but it looked like it was trying to highlight itself. Like, yes, pick me, pick me. No, I don't, I don't want to. So I guess we can modify this guy and put the rad remover on you. I'm more or less okay with our arrangement of mods. This one... We can put the silencer on there. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, can we put, just out of curiosity... Uh, we can put that one on there. Okay. Uh, I don't really want that, but, I mean, maybe just for the giggles we'll leave it on there and... and see how it goes, or maybe I'll just do the, the same thing and put that on there so that we have a massive magazine. That seems like a much better idea. I agree. I am just still hoping that one of these days we'll find the urban combat book because silencers have no damage penalty. I would like that one. It just gives us another option of things to use. I mean, taking a look at this, we do have quite a few books that we're really close to being done with. Almost all of them, actually, except for the Night Stalker. It's interesting that we found so few for that one. Pistol Pete as well, technically. I do like this, too. Shots fired at point blank. Ignore armor. I'm all about that. Uh, while we still have a little bit of time, we're going to end before the day wraps up. So we've gone a little long today. We're going to go just a touch longer. And then the next episode will start with the start of the horde. So I'm going to save a little bit of inventory management for my time and not yours. I did want to look at what we can do with points here. We do have the option of spending some stuff here and just kind of getting rid of some points. I think last time around we might have gone down the shotgun path, which is just delightful. And I think this time around maybe I don't want to go that way. I mean, I do, because, you know, it's good stuff, but I don't. What do we get with this one? Um, bah, 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 bah. Nothing really interesting here. Successive kill streaks increase damage. I mean, that's a pretty good one. You can get a lot of damage out of that. 50% more damage, 60% faster with aiming, 30% reload. All that stuff is really good. I just said we're not going to go boomstick for the time being. I don't remember if we did machine gunner last time. I do enjoy the crap out of this one, though. I mean, this is one of my favorites. So... Just for the giggles, we'll put one point in it right now. In fact, maybe we'll do that. We'll just kind of... We'll put a one point into each of these, and then... What I might want to do is go uh, go Gunslinger, just for the giggles. I don't know that I've really taken Gunslinger in this game. I probably have at some point. But it's been a while, and I don't remember the last time I did that. So we'll go three levels right now into Gunslinger. I'm not going to commit to any more than that just yet. We're going to need some more intellect at some point. Uh, better barter. We'll do that one just for the giggles. And then Daring Adventurer. We'll do that one. Should have done that one earlier. That was my bad that we didn't. And then... We'll do one point into Physician. I think maybe we'll do one or two points into one of these guys. Actually, we should probably do more cardio now that I think about it. 
Well, we don't really need to. It's the thing. Let's go over to perception. We'll put one point into dead eye for right now because we put one point into everything else. Here, I'll even put one point into that as well. That leaves us six points to play with. I think that's where I'm going to leave it, actually. I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I feel pretty good with that. I want to keep some points for just later playing with to figure out what we want to do with them. But overall, I think that's pretty good. I feel pretty pretty okay with that. Where's all the all this stuff? Let's see, what do we have? We got 32 rounds we can put in here now. 32 shells. Oh, that's great right there. So got a couple more hours. The horde will be here momentarily. I'm going to just do the usual pre-horde thing of grabbing some food and some water. Because, you know, inevitably I'm going to light myself on fire. Make sure I have healing stuff as well as vitamins and all that sort of jazz. And we will rejoin the next time around. We will be in the process of getting surrounded by zombies. I'll catch you on that one, Till, and thanks for watching. See you later.